Welcome to this video about convergence problems in SEM, structural equation modeling, and CFA, confirmatory factor analysis. In order to interpret the results of your SEM or CFA, the estimation algorithm has to find a solution. But that's not always the case. So what can you do if you run into convergence problems? If you get an error message like, the model did not converge, or something like that. I will show you nine different sources for those problems and how you can address those sources for non-convergence. The first is that you have a model that is theoretically under-identified. When it comes to model identification, we need global identification, so we need enough pieces of empirical information to estimate all parameters we want to estimate in our model. Then we need local identification, so for each part of the model we need enough empirical information. And we need a metric for all latent variables. So if you run into estimation problems, you definitely should recheck your model identification. You should recheck whether you have enough information, if you have enough information in all parts of the model, and if you have a metric for all latent variables. The last problem mostly arises if you override the default values, because normally, by default, the first indicator for each latent variable will get a loading of 1. But if you override that, but forget to assign another variable a value of 1, then this could be the problem. And the possible solution, of course, is change the model so you have a model that is theoretically identified. A related cause of convergence problems is an empirically unidentified model. There are two possible reasons for that, mainly collinearity between items and uncorrelated factors. Let's see why this could lead to problems. This is a measurement model for one factor with three items. Theoretically, this is just identified, so this measurement model has zero degrees of freedom. A problem can arise if now two of those items are extremely highly correlated because then, empirically, we don't have three empirical informations, we basically just have two empirical informations for this factor. And that's not enough to estimate this measurement model. The problem with uncorrelated factors could arise in this situation. Even though two items are not enough for an isolated factor, if you have two correlated factors, then it's okay to have just two items for each factor. This is actually over-identified, this measurement model. However, this only holds as long as this correlation between the factors is different from zero. But that's an empirical question. It's possible that empirically your two factors don't correlate. And then this breaks down into two isolated factors with two items each and those are not identified. So a possible solution? Check these error sources. And basically that is looking at correlation tables. For the problem of collinearity, look at the correlations between items going into the same factor. If those are extremely high and you only have a small number of items, let's say three items, then this could be a problem. And for the second problem with the empirically uncorrelated factors, look at the correlations between items of those two different factors. If those are nearly zero, then two factors, which you have assumed to be correlated, may be not correlated. And of course, after that, change the model to a model that is identified. Then the sample size could be too small for your model, or which is more or less the same problem in different words, your model could be too complex for the sample size. There are several different solutions for a problem like that. You could try to get a larger sample, acquire more participants for your study, you could change to a simpler model, you could try to use item parceling, that is combining items into parcels of items, I've made a separate video about that topic. You'll find a link in the description of this video. And you could change to another estimation method, PLS-SEM, that is partially squares SEM. That algorithm can find solutions for the same model with much smaller samples. However, in most cases, you will need a different software for that. That is not part of the standard SEM software like Amos or Lavan. One problem for convergence could be a very complex estimation algorithm. If you have non-normality, in many cases you try to use a robust algorithm. 
or if you have missing data, you could use full information maximum likelihood. But those algorithms are more complex, so you could run into trouble there. Possible solution? Instead of a normal robust algorithm like Huber White or Satora Bandler, you could use bootstrapping, because the basic algorithm behind bootstrapping is still maximum likelihood. In the case of missing data, you could use a simpler method for dealing with missing values, for instance using the EEM algorithm. Another source for convergence problems could be the starting values. The estimation algorithm in SEM and CFA is iterative, so you have starting values set by the system, and then the system tries to improve those values stepwise. But bad starting values can lead to estimation problems. A possible solution would be try to specify starting values. And for recommendations, I would look at Little 2013. Some guidelines in his book are try to set the loadings to 0.70, try to start with low factor correlations, and not very low item error variances. And maybe your problem goes away. Then you could have the wrong model definition. So the model definition you put into the software is not the model you really wanted to specify. From my experience as a consultant, the most likely case is that you have different versions of one variable in your data set. Maybe a variable and then a transformed variable, and that by mistake you put in the wrong version of this variable in your model. And this could lead to problems. So check your model definition and especially check the variable names in your model definition. Then you could have variables with zero variance because the word variable implies that there is some variability. Otherwise, you don't have a variable, you have a constant. And you can't estimate a model by including a constant. This problem can arise especially with subsamples. Let's say you have a binary variable in your model. For instance, gender. That's okay, you can estimate that. But if you now want to estimate the model just for one of the genders, let's say only for the males, then this will not work. Because in the subsample, everyone has the same value for the variable gender. So it's not a variable anymore, but a constant. In order to check for that, look at descriptives for all model variables. And if you find a variable in your descriptives that has a variance or standard deviation of zero, you know that this is the problem. Another thing that can lead to the algorithm running into problems is the metric of the variables. If you have very different metrics for your different variables in your CFA or SEM, it's possible that the algorithm can find a solution. For instance, one variable with a range from 1 to 2, and the other variable with a range from 1 to 1000. Estimating a model with those values is quite problematic. The solution? Transform the variables to a common scale, let's say a scale from 0 to 10, or any other range, basically. And the last source I will talk about, distributional assumptions. Estimation algorithms have distributional assumptions, and if those assumptions are violated, that can lead to estimation problems. You should check especially for outliers, for extreme outliers. And if you have extreme outliers, try to run your model without the extreme outliers. Maybe then your model will converge. Those were nine likely sources of failed model estimation, SEM and CFA. Basically, you will have to try out the different sources, one after another, until you have found your reason for model non-convergence. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.